Hi, I'm Clancy Handelberg, and 30 years ago, I was a lieutenant in the United States Navy and an officer with Underwater Demolition Team 11. I was assigned as a decontamination swimmer for Apollo 11 mission and also in charge of three swimmer recovery teams. And our job was to safely recover the astronauts and to uh, contain a potential lunar pathogen that NASA was very concerned might uh, recreate a real War of the Worlds. What you're seeing right now is the command module in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, it has come down upside down, and you can see the writing bags. There were three of those, uh, and the, their uh, function was to write the command module so that we could begin the recovery. You can see the recovery helicopter is in position. The first swimmer out is uh, going to be John Wolfram, and his job is to attach a sea anchor because, as you can see, the command module is bobbing around in some very high sea states. We were just on the outside edges of uh, a tropical storm, and there he goes. He's con he has with him a sea anchor that he will attach to the uh, downwind side of the command module. Uh, he will stretch out the line and uh, pull out the uh, the uh, uh, sea anchor itself and that will act to slow down the command module in these rocking waves. The second group of folks that came in there were the swim team leader, uh, Wes Chesser, was also lieutenant, and then uh, Michael uh, Mallory. Their job is to put a, a collar, an inflatable collar around the command module to act as both a platform for me to work on later for the decontamination procedures to attach uh, the decontamination raft and also in the event of uh, an emergency to keep the command module afloat. So we got three swimmers in the water right now and now they're bringing the recovery helicopter alongside to drop the first of two rafts into the water. The first raft will be for the decontamination of the astronauts after they egress from the command module. The second raft will be tethered uh, downwind, upwind uh, from the command module for the swim team to uh, sit in while the decontamination pre procedures are uh, being taken. There's the first raft. Uh, the second raft is in the water there and that is being tethered upwind. And now it's my turn to enter the water. Uh, <coughs> I will go into the water between the two rafts and swim to the upwind raft where I will don uh, my biological isolation garment also known as a big suit. My garment will filter the air that I breathe in. I will also uh, be given a bag of bigs, uh, three of them for each one, of the, one for each of the astronauts and their breathing me mechanism will be designed to filter the air that they breathe out. I'll also get two canisters of decontamination material. One uh, contains sodium hypochlorite. That's to be used to decontaminate the astronauts themselves. The other canister will contain uh, contain betadine which is used to decontaminate, decontaminate the raft, the command module itself, and the uh, flotation collar you see there. Now the, I'm getting ready to transfer the decontamination containers as you can see right there uh, as well as myself and the biological isolation garments they will now transfer to the other raft and move upwind and after I get the canisters attached to the side of the command module um, the astronauts open the hatch from the inside and egress into the decontamination raft. You can see that we were still in fairly high sea states. There was a lot of concern there that uh, uh, we might not be able to successfully complete the decontamination procedures but we did. I uh, opened the hatch, as you saw, and put the bag of bigs inside. The astronauts are now uh, donning the isolation garments. I'm looking through the hatch to see if everything's going all right. Uh, the hatch is opening for the second time. The astronauts are coming out w individually into the raft. They have flotation devices underneath each of their armpits called uh, water wings. Uh, and they're designed to keep the astronauts afloat in case they were to go into the water. Um, bear in mind that they've been in a weightless or near weightless condition for some time and the concern was that uh, they might not be able to swim too well. We don't want to take a chance if they fell into the water so they have to have their water wings inflated. Mine however are not because I have to be able to work unencumbered around the command module. And you can see there I'm having some difficulty closing the hatch. As it turned out when the astronauts egressed the door was not recycled for closure 
And at this point, Michael Collins, who I recognized through the face mask, came back. We opened the hatch for a third time. He recycled the door hatch handle, and we were able to successfully close the command module. Now, I had three specific tasks that were required. As you can see up there, I'm checking to make sure that the vents were closed. When the astronauts egressed, I also made sure that the tape on their filters was pulled off and that their water wings were inflated. <clears throat> now we'll get down to the business of decontaminating the astronauts in the raft. Uh, the task was to make sure that uh, any contamination uh, that they might have brought out on the outsides of their suits was taken care of with the sodium hypochlorite, which is a strong bleach solution. I had a mitt, much like uh, what you wash a car down with. You can see it there in my left hand. And now I'm uh, spraying the astronauts out of the container, uh, much like a, a fire extinguisher, on the outer garment, and then wiping them clean with the mitt. At one point here, they will also turn around and decontaminate me. But right there, you can see I'm taking care of uh, business. I was also concerned that uh, with the sodium hypochlorite, there you can see them uh, decontaminating me. Uh, we had originally practiced only with betadine. It uh, was discovered uh, midway through the Apollo 11 mission that betadine was also a wetting agent and would make the suits permeable. So they switched to sodium hypochlorite, which has a strong smell, as you can imagine, being it's uh, bleach. And uh, the concern was is that the astronauts breathing this in because remember, they could breathe in, filtered breathing out uh, might make them sick. That was not the case. Now we're bringing the uh, upwind raft in close. It will attach to the side of the command module, and a swimmer will go into the water to act as a lifeguard while we transfer each in individual astronaut into a Billy Punet for transfer to the helicopter. See, there's uh, one of the swimmers. I can't remember which one. He's wearing a scuba. They're all wearing scuba right now in case there's some residual uh, contamination to worry about. There goes the first astronaut. Uh, I was unaware of the order in which the astronauts were in the raft or being transferred because uh, the only way to identify who was who was to put your face mask up close to theirs and check their eyes out. Uh, the only person I did recognize, as I mentioned, was Michael Collins, who came up to recycle the hatch door. Now we're getting ready to transfer the second astronaut up into the recovery helicopter. There he goes. Thumbs up. That left just one to go. And there's the last astronaut on his way up to the helicopter. At that point, uh, the recovery helicopter takes off for the Hornet, and the astronauts uh, transfer to a quarantine facility uh, just to make sure uh, that the lunar pathogen, if it existed, and thank God it didn't, uh, was kept uh, con quarantined away from the rest of the crew. After the last astronaut is in and the helicopter takes off, uh, our job was to decontaminate the entire command module. Yeah, let me just hear what we